Now we're going to start talking about how you can model uh, real-world systems with matrices and vectors. Okay, uh, matrices and vectors are really, really great tools for storing um, storing data, storing the information about features of a system. Okay, and so for the example that we're going to talk about right now, we're going to develop a um, simple weather model. Okay. So we all know that uh, weather in Seattle can be either rainy, cloudy, or nice, right? Now, if it's rainy today, there's about a 50% chance that it'll also be rainy tomorrow, okay? And there's a 25% chance that if it's rainy today, it'll be cloudy tomorrow, a 25% chance that if it's rainy today, it'll be nice tomorrow. So 0 0.25, 0 0.25, good. Now, if it's cloudy, I would say there's also a 50% uh, chance of being cloudy tomorrow. There's a 25% chance that if you are cloudy today, you'll be rainy tomorrow. Uh, what else do I need? I want to know if it's cloudy today, there's a 25% chance it'll be nice tomorrow. And if it's nice today, there'll be a 50% chance it's cloudy tomorrow. Uh, so on and so forth. And finally, um, I'm going to say if it's nice today, probably not going to be nice tomorrow. And so there's a 50% chance that uh, it'll be rainy the next day. Okay, so I just made up all of these numbers. Um, you know, I also made up the categories. This is just a, a made up example. Um, you could add more types uh, of weather if you like. You could change these numbers, that's all fine. But one of the features that you'll notice about the system is that the total probability of something happening tomorrow given a state today is equal to one, right? All of my probabilities always have to equal, add up to one. That means something happens. Uh, so for example, if I'm rainy today, right? If I add up the probability of it being rainy tomorrow or cloudy tomorrow or nice tomorrow, I get 50% plus 25% plus 25%. That's a 100% chance that the weather will be something tomorrow. Okay, so each of these, um, you know, output error arrows has to add up to 100%. Okay, good. And we're going to, so this is just a graphical representation of the system. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, well, I have a state, um, let's call it X today. Okay, and at the time of filming this lecture, it turns out it was a nice day. Um, so I'm going to make my vector 0, 1, 0, where the first element corresponds to the probability of it being rainy. The next one is the probability of it being nice, and the third element is the probability of it being cloudy. Okay, so I went outside today, I made an observation, it is a nice day. I have probability 1 that today was a nice day. Okay, I'm making pretty big simplifications. You know, it's either nice or it's not. Um, okay, so that's x today. And what we can do is we can use the numbers in this graphical representation to create um, a matrix A. So what we're going to do is we're essentially going to create x tomorrow, my probability of any of these weather states tomorrow is going to equal some matrix A times my probability of weather at x today, okay? And the way that we're going to construct this A matrix is as follows, okay? So it's a big three by three matrix. And what we're going to have on top is um, the state today. And on the, the vertical axis, we're going to have um, these correspond to what happens tomorrow. Okay, good. And so the first column is going to be rainy, nice, cloudy, rainy, nice, cloudy. And then the first row is going to be rainy tomorrow, nice tomorrow, and cloudy tomorrow. Okay, so hopefully this will make sense in a minute. So you can read columns as rainy today, nice today, cloudy today rows as rainy tomorrow, nice tomorrow, cloudy tomorrow. And we're just going to fill this data in uh, according to this, this plot. Okay, so 
the way we say it is, if I was rainy today, I have a 50% chance of being rainy tomorrow. So rainy today, rainy tomorrow is 0.5 in this entry. Now, if it was nice today, then there's a 50% chance of it being rainy tomorrow. So there's a 0.5 here. If it was cloudy today, there's a 25% chance of it being rainy tomorrow, 25. Okay, that's how we, we read off this diagram. Okay, we're taking these, we're putting them into this matrix. And um, okay, and we can just read, read down this entire list. So let's just go through it again. Um, if I was rainy today, what are the chances of me being nice tomorrow? 25%, 0.25. If I was um, nice today, the chance of me being nice tomorrow is 0%, unfortunately. And if I was cloudy today, there's a quarter um, chance of it being nice tomorrow, 0.25. And then the last row, uh, rainy today, cloudy tomorrow, 0.25. Nice today, cloudy tomorrow, 0.5. Cloudy today, cloudy tomorrow, 0.5. Good. So we have this beautiful A matrix now, read completely off of this diagram. And what's nice about this is that uh, you can verify a few things right off the bat. So every column has to add up to one. This is the, essentially the statement that, you know, whatever the state is today, it's going to be in one of these tomorrow. There's going to be some, you know, it's going to be something tomorrow. So all of these columns add up to one. So that's the first check we do is that these all add up to one. Good. Okay. And the way that this works now is if I have, um, if I have my state X today, all I have to do is multiply it by this A matrix and I get the probability of my weather tomorrow broken down into these categories, rainy, nice, and cloudy. So let's just do this. For this uh, vector 0, 1, 0 today, we're going to multiply it uh, on the right. We're going to multiply this A matrix by 0, 1, 0 you know, times this thing. And so x tomorrow is going to be this vector. Um, okay, I multiply this and I just get 0 0.5, 0, and another 0.5. And this is exactly what this diagram is telling me. It was nice today, and so there's a 50% chance it'll be rainy tomorrow and a 50% chance it'll be cloudy tomorrow. And that's what this is telling me. 50% rain, 0% nice, 50% cloud. Okay, makes sense? Good. Um, so this is an extremely useful, um, useful modeling tool. Okay, I went just from this, this picture of what's happening to a mathematical formalism where we actually wrote down the probability of transition um, in a matrix A. And that matrix A allows me to take my probability of weather today and step it forward to tomorrow. And there's no reason that I would have to stop at tomorrow, right? I could also step this forward, um, you know, I could go from day one to day two to day three to day four and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. Um, and again, this, um, this system with rainy, nice, cloudy, you could also use this formalism to describe um, epidemiological models. So whether or not you are sick, healthy, or in recovery with the flu. Okay, so every day there's some chance I contract the flu. Um, if I have the flu, then there's some chance that tomorrow I will still have the flu. There's also some chance I'll be in recovery. And if I'm in recovery, I could get sick again. I could get a uh, secondary infection or uh, I could get well again. So I could have those three states. This is very flexible. It could describe tons of different systems. Um, this general type of system where you use a matrix A to write down how the probabilities of a state change from day to day or you know state to state uh, is called a Markov model and this is a Markov transition matrix. This is named after the great uh, Russian mathematician Markov. Um, okay, interestingly uh, the Russian convention is actually to transpose this so that rows add up to one um, and your tomorrow would be columns and your today would be rows. It's a little confusing. This is kind of the US uh, standard way of writing things. 
Okay, and so if I have my state, I'm going to make a little leap here. So if I have my state on day one, I can get my state on day two, right? This is the probability of weather to, you know, on day one. Uh, maybe I don't know if it's rainy, nice, or cloudy. Maybe I just start with, you know, a third, a third, a third, because I don't know. Then my probability on day two is just I multiply by A. I multiply X1 by A. And I can keep going. My probability on day three, I just multiply by A again, and so on and so forth, dot, dot, dot. And I can get my probability on any day I like, Xn, by just keep multiplying with A. Okay, and if I want to write this down, I would say that x2 is equal to a times x1, fine. x3 is equal to a times x2, so that's a squared times x1, and so on and so forth. And so xn is equal to a to the power n times x1. That's kind of an interesting property of these Markov matrices, okay? So the next step is for us to actually code this up uh, with this particular initial condition. We call this initial condition because that's what we're starting with. We're initializing the system. Uh, and we're just going to run this forward and see what the weather uh, does over time. Okay. All right, so let's try this out. Okay, good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, create this matrix A in our system. Okay, so in MATLAB, we're going to create this A matrix. So let's just get started. Uh, we're going to say A equals a matrix. And A is going to equal a matrix of, it's really easy to read, 0.5, space, 0.5, space, 0.25, next row, 0 0.25, 0, 0, 0.25, next row, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, end my matrix. Okay, so I have here is my A matrix that I wrote down. This tells me how I go from day today, sorry, today, today, tomorrow, to the day tomorrow. Um, okay, we're going to initialize this. We're going to say X today equals, um, okay, it was actually a nice day. Okay, so my x today is uh, not rainy, yes, nice, not cloudy. Good. And then finally, uh, we're going to create a big loop, and we're going to take x today and get x tomorrow. And then at the end of tomorrow, tomorrow becomes today. And then take, take that day, step it forward. And then keep stepping forward. And we're going to go from day one to two to three, all the way up to day 50. And we're going to see if we can predict the weather using this simple model. Okay. Okay, so for, um, it's a little hard to see. This says four. 4i equals uh, 1 to 50. So for 50 days, we're going to say x tomorrow equals a times x today. Right? It's just what we were doing before. We're saying my state tomorrow, I get that by taking x today, and I multiply it by a, and I get a new vector out. That's my probability of weather tomorrow. And then at the end of every day, uh, tomorrow becomes today. So we say x today equals x tomorrow, right? At the end of each day, what was tomorrow, what was a future day, now becomes today. And I end, OK? And at each of these steps, I'm going to um, print out to the screen the actual probability. OK, so I should bring up my MATLAB so we can see this. Okay, I should bring up my MATLAB so we can see this. Um, okay, and I'm going to print out some stuff. I'm just going to let you print out i so we know what day i is. Then it's going to print out x tomorrow. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, pause for 0.5 seconds. 
Okay, this just is going to give us some time to actually see what's happening. Okay. So I'll run this again, but very quickly you see that my probability distribution converges to 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. So for long times, let's just write this down. For long times, this xn equals uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Okay. I'm going to run this again, and uh, maybe I'll make a little bit longer pause. Okay, so starts off, you know, uh, and very quickly on day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, and it's very, very, very rapidly converging to this steady state distribution. So I'm calling this steady state because it stops changing. Um, and so this is kind of interesting. This, this gets you thinking um, about weather prediction or the prediction of any system where you have a probability of transitioning from state one to state two and so on and so forth. That um, even if I have a lot of certainty in what my state is today, because all of these transitions are probabilistic, they kind of get, um, you know, there's some uncertainty in what it'll be tomorrow and that uncertainty compounds until eventually you're just left with the steady state distribution. Okay, so this is a really flexible idea. It, lots of things you can model um, by a matrix A and a vector, right? This vector is telling us the probability of the weather, whether it's you know, rainy, nice, or cloudy today. And we can use this matrix A to get the transition of probability for what it'll be like tomorrow. Very, very flexible, uh, very powerful, powerful concept. 